Okay, so it is Wednesday the 17th, and I have another robot senior project update. So now, the robot is capable of taking this bolt, picking it up, and placing it in this hole. So, I'll give a quick demonstration of that. So the uh, iris closed around the bolt, so now the bolt will be secured when it becomes free. The stepper motor there is spinning, and it's unscrewing the bolt. So this is the tricky part. As the bolt unscrews, the robot has to move up in sync with it, roughly. And the bolt is now free. So now the bolt's getting tightened into the other hole. The iris is open. And the bolt's been released. Alright, so the bolt's been fully tightened. And there we go. Success. Just to give a quick overview of the setup and what we have going on here, we have a donor 2 robot arm. Uh, this is the stepper driver right here. So this is a custom design manipulator uh, by my partner here. So we have a stepper motor with encoder on there. We're not utilizing the encoder quite yet. And we have a servo motor right here. And the way this works is we have a uh, the stepper motor drives this guy, which will screw and unscrew the bolt. And then we have this servo motor here, and there's a little iris. Right now it's powered, so I can't really open it or close it, but uh, there's a little iris that will basically grab the bolt. It will grab underneath the, fate, the head of the bolt after uh, this, this guy's spring-loaded. So basically it can tighten and untighten, and once the bolt head is under right about there, the little iris will close or open depending on whether we are trying to untighten a bolt or tighten a bolt into the bolt hole. And that will allow the robot to actually securely pick up and carry the bolt from one location to the next. Uh, software wise, using ROS and ROS serial. So this currently is a hard coded demo. So we have the door, there's an API for the door in the robot. And this and uh, right now it's pre-programmed to go to this location, unscrew the bolt, and place it in this hole. And eventually we'd like to get this camera working and use that for computer vision, but uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see the um, semester's coming to a close here, so I probably won't have time for that. But anyways, the servo is controlled using ROS and uh, the ROS, using ROS serial library, it talks to the Arduino. And so the Arduino commands the servo and the stepper to move, and the Dorna API commands, using Python and the Dorna API commands the robot to move. 